And now time for weekly show with a passionate India lover, chairman of ITV Gold and Parik Worldwide Media. Get ready for loving sharing from physician, philanthropist, publisher, and India advocate in this week. Namaskar, uh, I have with me Padma Shri recipient Dr. Sudhir Parekh in our weekly show this week with Dr. Sudhir Parekh uh, that is on ITV Gold and uh, Jai Shri Ram, Dr. Parekh, how are you doing today? Jai Shri Ram, Namaskar, Namaskar everyone. So, uh, Doctor, you know, with this amazing opening ceremony of the new uh, Ram uh, Temple, and I would definitely love to hear your observations, of course, of the ceremony, of uh, Modi ji's address, and celebrations across the globe, including our tri-state area. Well, of course, uh, <clears throat> as you know that this is a very historical and very, uh, very proud moment for all the Sanatan Dharmi, uh, the Sanatan um, uh, devotee, because after 500 years, because we believe that Mariyada Purushottam Ram, Bhagwan Ram, is our uh, one of the important. Uh, uh, God, we believe in it. So, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> we know that this temple came after 500 years of struggle and and, and fighting between the um, different uh, different time and different of the different decades. And so, we are very happy to see that uh, it's got completed, inaugurated uh, during the Prime Minister Narendra Bhai Modi's uh, tenure. Hmm. And I think uh, a <coughs> lot of credit goes to him hmm. about uh, completion of this temple and opening of this temple. And temple was even, it's not completed yet, only first floor is done. But still, uh, it looks uh, at least on the, on the uh, pictures and TVs and, uh, and uh, otherwise uh, <coughs> very beautiful. Very is this uh, state of the art carving and uh, the way the is a very glamorous and very grandiose, and uh, the Ram uh, Bhagwan Ram's um, uh, deities uh, uh, that uh, statue. It's really uh, the whoever made it. I must congratulate uh, that Silpi because it's it's so vibrant and so real and, and eyes were so beautifully done. And the face was so beautifully done, it, 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 as if he's going to talk to us right away, you know. Absolutely. And I think even after that, you know, after the whole <coughs> Pran Pratishta was over, I saw over internet everywhere. They had this AI I know. generated. I saw that, yeah. yeah and it was that. like amazing. Right. So I think it is great. And the uh, Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister said uh, so many good things that uh, this is a time to everyone to get together. Uh, there is, um, and everyone is welcome in this temple, and uh, uh, irrespective of their caste and creed and uh, uh, anything, and uh, and and I think it's going to be a, one of the historical sightseeing um, uh, tourist place for India for years to come. And it already, you know, looks like right. that because you see. A sea of people there. Right. They don't have even room to probably walk there the correct, way the people correct, are correct, there. Correct. <clears throat> and then in the tri-state area also we did a big celebration. Hmm. Um, uh, we started uh, Prabhat uh, Ferry, that's a procession with the uh, uh, Ram, uh, deity of the Ram uh, in hand and we, <clears throat> we had a 25 cars we went f um, through nine temples. Each temple, we did a puja of uh, uh, Bhagwan Ram, and then bring it. Uh, uh, I mean, at the end, we came to the uh, Swaminarayan Temple in Parsipeni, <coughs> Yogi Divine Society, uh, and there uh, uh, I was there. I was, uh, uh, I mean, privileged to be uh, a chief guest there. So we did a arti there. We did a, a puja there, and uh, everyone was so. So pleased, I mean, there is, and so joyful, and there is no way you can um, describe that unless you experience uh, that. And, and I think we did here in the, <clears throat> in the USA our bit of celebrating uh, Ram Temple inauguration. 
Absolutely, and everywhere, Times Square, everywhere, you name it, right. they had the celebration. So, you know, with all this uh, uh, Pran Pratishta and having the Ram Temple, so my question to you is like, did Modi ji and uh, BJP, do they get like an advantage from this Ram event? And uh, do you think that India Bloc, which, you know, they did not attend, so do you think they made a mistake? Well, I mean, uh, I'm not sure uh, about, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Let's put it this way. Uh, of course, uh, Ram Temple uh, will give BJP some advantage uh, <clears throat> about uh, uh, the, what experts are saying on the political experts are saying that at least they will get at least 5% uh, up, up uh, tick in the uh, total voting uh, mm -hmm. block. And that makes big difference in the election. Of course, uh, you, uh, one cannot say that uh, election is done deal now. Because election is election, and mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> this emotional thing, uh, it's uh, it's it, it's always goes so far. Because um, uh, let, there are a lot of other as time goes, a lot of other things, other factors, other stories, other thing come in the come, come in the picture. Mm. So definitely, BJP and uh, Prime Minister Modi's uh, leadership will get a big boost. Big advantage, uh, five percent uh, minimum, five percent in the upbeat uh, uptick of the vote, voting members, and I think that uh, will help them to uh, win the election uh, in uh, April <coughs> 2024. Mm -hmm. And he will be a prime minister, hopefully third time. And we we wish that, and we we pray God for that. Absolutely. And also, you know, with this Mamta and Aam Admi Party, they are going solo. So tell me, is this kind of alliance still viable? I think alliance is still viable because when there is an alliance of different parties with a different different thinking or different search and, and everybody is <coughs> kind of uh, try to protect their own turf. So that's why uh, this kind of thing is going to happen. I mean, this kind of uh, uh, news uh, cycle will go on. But I think if uh, they are, uh, I'm sure they are smart people too. And if they are smart, they should sit down and uh, work it out uh, their um, uh, differences. Mm -hmm. And then, then I think they can be a formidable force. Otherwise, they cannot be a formidable force. So uh, let's now talk about the U.S. presidential election. So with, uh, you know, Ron DeSantis calling it quits and then Vivek Ramaswamy, you know, campaigning for Trump and then Trump taking the prize of uh, the state of New Hampshire. So tell me what is now left for Nikki? Well, I think nothing, practically speaking, nothing much left for uh, Nikki Haley because usually what happens is... Uh, <clears throat> when uh, president is so far ahead of the game, uh, and uh, 80, 90 percent of the Republican <clears throat> Republican voters, they are uh, they are they want president to come back uh, mm -hmm. because they think their president was kind of uh, ill-treated in last election. Uh, whether uh, how far it is uh, truth or not truth, uh, but they believe in that and they mm -hmm. strongly believe in that. Mm -hmm. And that's why president is head of the whole game. And now, even current uh, poll shows that president is be, uh, <clears throat> uh, kind of uh, beating uh, President Biden by four to six percentage votes, mm. and that's that's uh, that's very uh, bad news for the current sitting president. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see what happens. But I think uh, Trump is. I think his nomination is given. And Nikki Haley will run because she has some money um, donated by some big uh, black uh, donors, uh, those who are uh, uh, like Koch brothers and those people. And so he, she has to spend that money. And, uh, and she's going next to the, her own state of South Carolina. So she will try that. But I think uh, <clears throat> her road is very difficult. And now let's talk about the big technology. You know, recently Microsoft uh, took over Apple as the most valuable uh, company uh, by market cap. So tell me, you know, any key comments you have on the future of big tech in U.S.? No, I mean, uh, he didn't, they didn't, Microsoft did not take over whole Apple. Hmm. He, they took over one, uh, there is some uh, uh, technology, hmm. one part, a small part of the technology. So. Hmm. 
uh, I think big tech is a big uh, is a it's a it's a uh, <coughs> real growth of the country, hmm. and all these uh, Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Google, uh, Meta, they all are trillion dollar companies. One is somebody is one trillion, other one is two trillion, somebody is three trillion, mm -hmm. and you know the three trillion it means uh, the econ the the economy the value of that uh, company. Uh, one or two together is more than even India's economy. Mm -hmm. So that shows that how powerful they are, and not only powerful means how how much we are dependent on those these companies. And mm -hmm. uh, without this company, our day-to-day -day life we don't realize, but day-to-day -day life cannot be uh, cannot uh, go smooth. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, let's uh, go to the rapid uh, fire round. My first <coughs> question is that. Will Biden run as Democratic candidate with Trump becoming the Republican uh, front runner candidate, or will uh, Democrat, you know, they look for you know someone else? I think probably usually the conventional wisdom is that sitting president never uh, get challenged unless he he get uh, some unfortunate thing happens to him, like sickness, illness, or, or something. Uh, otherwise. Uh, he will uh, Biden President Biden will be no, nominee nom nominee of the Democratic Party, and they will not repl replace. Uh, and there is no way to replace that unless Biden uh, President Biden himself give up at the end and during the convention, but is unlikely. Looks like. Okay, so is Jay Shri Ram uh, the new slogan for BJP in their next Lok Sabha elections? Yes or no? No, probably not, because you cannot win the uh, uh, election in the uh, country like India, where there is a multi-faceted uh, uh, religion uh, uh, groups. Uh, uh, the, the only Sri Ram uh, slogan for BJP is a great slogan theoretically, but I'm sure uh, uh, Narendra Bhai, Prime Minister, will not use that one. Because he even when he ran 2014 election first time, he never even mentioned about Ayodhya or Ram Temple. In 19 also he did not mention about Ayodhya mm. or Ram Temple. Mm. <coughs> so he knows he's a very smart politician and very uh, astute uh, politician. So um, no, I I don't think that slogan will be there. So I mean, the, I mean slogan will not be used as a real slogan. I mean. Okay, so my next question is uh, that <clears throat> is the new Ram temple going to be like overtaking Tirupati uh, temple as the India's most visited and richest temple? Well, it, well time will tell, but uh, it's it possible because uh, you know that... Uh, there is only yes or no answer. You cannot tell me it's possible. <laughs> okay, no, uh, probably, probably yes. Okay, okay. And my next question is your nominee for Republican VP candidate. Well, again, it's too early to say, but I'm sure uh, there are a couple of uh, 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 senators, lady senators, female senators, and a couple of other uh, uh, governors uh, from the South. Uh, they are uh, they are in in the kind of consideration. Are you asking about Nikki Haley? Probably not. Okay, and uh, you are a nominee for Democratic uh, VP candidate. I think uh, usually, uh, again, conventional wisdom says that any sitting president, when he runs for second time, hmm. always vice president remains the same. Okay. All so right. uh, Kamala Perfect. Harris will be the vice president candidate. Perfect. L let's see how your predictions will come out, right? But uh, before we uh, give out the actually you give out the week's message. Uh, I would want to remind all our viewers that you can follow Dr. Sudhir Parikh on Facebook at Dr. Parikh and you can also follow him on Twitter. The handle is that is S-U-D-P-A-R-I-K-H. So please go ahead with your this week's Dear message. friends, uh, I think we all are very very privileged, very honored, and very lucky to witness uh, inauguration or Pran Pratishta of the Ram Temple by our beloved Prime Minister Narendra Bhai Modi. And that's a, a great event, a great history making, because it happened after 500 years of the struggle uh, for Ram Temple. And uh, I think uh, it is uh, beautifully done, uh, uh, nicely, I mean, is a state-of-the-art carving, 
a lot of uh, uh, glitters a lot of history in the temple uh, uh, temple walls and uh, surrounding area and so please whenever you go to india visit ayodhya and uh, and uh, tell your uh, f family and your grandchildren and uh, uh, <coughs> uh, friends that you've been to ram temple and that that should be a very proud moment uh, for you so please do that and uh, <coughs> let's now uh, the elections are coming both in india as well as in usa and it will be very interesting very challenging and see uh, let's uh, be part of it and try to be uh, help uh, whichever party you like to help so again um, uh, <clears throat> i would like to say god bless america god bless india god bless indian american and before <clears throat> uh, we'll we'll see you next week till then love you all thank you